health and hygiene for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Let's keep you safe, let's keep you from smelling. Couple quick tips. One, any jewelry, take it off before you train. Make sure you don't have earrings or any other piercings that are going to scratch your training partner or get hung up and maybe pulled out when they get caught in a gi. That's not good. Make sure if you wear a ring, wedding ring, or any other type of ring, take it off before you train. If your finger gets jammed and swells up, something's gonna have to get cut off, either the ring or the finger, so let's make sure that we avoid that. Your nails, fingernails and toenails, keep them trimmed. Bring a pair of nail clippers with you. Have them in your gym bag, so if you get to the gym and you look at your nails, you realize you need to clip them, do it before class. Our gym provides nail clippers here. As loaners, people can borrow. We put them in barbicide, so if your gym does that, make sure that they're being cleaned and disinfected so you're not sharing germs with somebody else by borrowing nail clippers. But make sure you keep those nails trimmed. Make sure you keep outside germs off the mat. This is why all jiu-jitsu schools have a rule, no outside shoes on the mat. So you need to come in, put your outside shoes away, and then come onto the mat barefoot. Or maybe if you have training socks or some other special shoes like wrestling shoes that you only wear on the mat. But otherwise, keep those outside germs off the mat. When you're on the mat and you're going to the bathroom, make sure you have a pair of sandals or flip-flops that you can wear into the bathroom so you don't walk around the urinal bare feet and then come track it back on the mat. For some of my fellow school owners who I have the most utmost respect for, I'm gonna say this as politely as I can. Please, please, please stop with the dogs on the mat. Dogs' feet aren't much cleaner than people's shoes. I have a pair of dogs. I know what they dig in every day. They're never coming onto this mat, so make sure that we're not allowing dogs' feet on the mat if we're not allowing outside shoes on the mat, and we shouldn't be. All right, so that's gonna keep you safe from scratching each other and from getting skin infections. Let's also talk about keeping you from being the smelly person in class. Wash yourself right after class. If your gym has showers like ours do, we have some very nice showers, people take advantage of them, um, that's great. Shower right away. If you can't or it's just not, not feasible for you, make sure you're showering as soon as you get home. Don't go home, sit down on the couch in your sweaty, stinky gym clothes and watch a couple hours of Netflix before you decide to shower. Shower right away. If you wanna be extra safe, get some special soap. Defense soap is really good for anybody who's grappling. Something that'll help protect you from getting skin infections. And then for your gi and anything else, your rash guard, any other compression gear you wear, underwear of course, wash that stuff right away too. And not only wash it in a regular wash, but I'd recommend some athletic sanitizer. After a while, even regular washes don't seem to get out the bacteria that builds up. And while you can't smell it when your gi is fresh and dry, once you get sweaty, you start to smell it. That means those bacteria have been building up in the gi and they're getting activated when the gi gets wet. So use some uh, athletic sanitizer, keep the bacteria out. So those are the big lessons if you're starting to train jujitsu. Take off any jewelry, trim your nails so you don't scratch anybody. Make sure you're not bringing germs onto the mat. Make sure you're keeping yourself clean and make sure you're keeping your gi clean. So train safe, train smart, and train with respect for your training partners. I hope that helps. Talk to you guys later.